So welcome back folks, this is Shardul Gavande from Ace Knowledge and in this video we will see the setup required to handle our YouTube videos dynamically in our Android application. Okay, so here I have already created, here, here it is a folder called load image where these four files are regarding to the hand, to maintain the YouTube videos in and are also our application. The first is file catch which will handle which will create a file in our application android application and it will uh, handle the catch uh, all the catch data in that particular file okay the second is image loader this image loader is responsible for uh, to load an image before our thumbnail loads for example we have uh, we have caught a video or a list of videos playlist list of playlist in our application we have fetched it and it takes time to load the thumbnails so before thumbnail what which image should we should load so it will be specified over here you can see it r dot in the drawable folder we have as ace we have image as ace dot jpg okay so in this way this image loader is responsible for that handling the image which comes before the thumbnail is loaded the next is Memory catch again this handles and clears the catch memory from our application so that the performance it uh, performance is more better and then last is utils which handles the buffer reader which is input stream and output stream specifies the buffer size and uh, handles it in a rational manner okay so the next is uh, actually this uh, this uh, this all are the setup environment setup requirement we need to have because uh, if I st uh, start uh, writing each and every code for this then it will take a lot of time for uh, focusing on the actual uh, fetching of YouTube so our concern will be only on fetching of YouTube videos dynamically with the JSON passing and using a sync task okay so all this uh, previous uh, previous uh, class or you can say previous activity have already been created so let me give you overview of this created activities the first is developer key developer key here, we, here you need to enter your developer or simply your api key which we have seen earlier how we can create it so just type it over here the next is your let's come here on json parser this we have created a separate activity called as json parser where we are just simply passing a url or simply a playlist of url which is android and xamarin and uh, fetching the url through http client okay and showing it in loggy loggy which will show over here when the android run when the application runs and if it enters in this particular section which is get json from youtube it will be printed over here loggy android so we can simply also debug it we can understand it where the method is going okay so a separate json file is to be created and through this json file this json uh, this uh, json parser activity we will call or you can simply we will fetch this url in our playlist view dot main activity okay that we will code actually actually we will code that part playlist part we will code it okay the next is the main activity which is by default activity gets which gets created here we will show our playlist view android and xamarin the next is video adapter video adapter simply to adapt the video which will be played using the getter and setter methods uh, dynamically to pull that video in the list view so this is the code regarding a video adapter and using some array list of videos uh, we will see this uh, video video part later let's just focus on now let's just see this youtube failure recovery activity this is regarding what if it is unable to load a particular video video then how it should be handled by our application so this is the code for that purpose okay so we will be focusing on only fetching of json url into our activity or simply our android app okay so this is just a setup environment and overview because we can't code each for can't uh, have a video for each and every activity so we'll just our concern is only on focusing of fetching youtube videos in our application dynamically in list view okay so in, in next video we will uh, actually start with the coding part of this fetching fetching of youtube videos so stay tuned thank you very much and please do subscribe